Praise the Lord, everybody, 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 accept greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. This morning, I stop by with a word to encourage somebody from the book of Isaiah 43, verses 2, it says, When thou passest through the waters, I will be with thee, and through the rivers they shall not overflow thee. When thou walkest through the fire, thou shalt not be burned, neither shall the flame kindle upon thee. For I am thy God, the Holy One of Israel, thy Savior. This morning I want to tell somebody, I want to encourage somebody that the Lord is with you in spite of what you may be facing this morning. In spite of every situation that you are going through this morning, God is in that situation with you. God is in that fire referring with you. When Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego were thrown into the burning fiery furnace, they put their trust and their confidence in God. They held to their integrity. And when the king took a look in the fire, they were there in the fire with not even a burn to their body. They were walking around because God was in that fiery furnace with them. I don't know the situation that you find yourself in this morning. I don't know the furnace that you are in this morning, but I want you to know that the Lord, your God, your Savior, the God of Israel, the God, the same God, who kept Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. And they came out of that fiery furnace with not even a burn to their body. Not even smelling like smoke. That same God is with you this morning. He is with you in your situation. That same God who calmed the water, who calmed the wind, who calm the wave. He is with you. He said when you pass through the waters. The waters shall not overflow you. He is with you. And he will continue to be with you. When you go through the rivers. You will not be drowned. So even though this morning you are going. Through the bed of affliction. You are going through persecution. You are going through your trials. You are going through your tribulation. Some of you are going through heartaches. Some of you are going through pain. Some of you have become so weary, have become so tired. Some of you are losing hope. Some of you are losing strength. But remember, the word of God says that his strength is made perfect during your times of weakness. It's not your strength, but his strength. So even though you are going through despair, even though you feel forsaken, even though you feel neglected, even though you feel alone, remember God is in the midst of your fire, your water, your storm, even though the billows are dashing across your shore, remember that your ship is under the Lord's control. Even though you are going through, remember you are not going through alone. Remember you are not walking alone. Remember you are not driving alone. Remember you are not sitting alone. Remember you are not facing None of these difficulties alone. God, your Savior, is with you. And he will continue to be with you. The flame shall not burn you. 
The smoke shall not stifle you. The situations that are arising, the situations, the setbacks that you have gone through and you are going through, they are only preparing you for some great comebacks, for some greater comebacks. So it doesn't matter. Your situation may not reflect that there will be victory on the other side. Your situation may not reflect that you will laugh on the other side because all you can see now is tears. All you can see now is mourning. All you can feel now is pain. But remember that the God of the valley, the mountains and the sea is with you. So you don't have to worry. Be not dismayed. What ear be tied, God will take care of you. Is there in your furnace? Is there in your water? Is there in your trials? Is there in your sickness? Like Job, I want to tell somebody this morning to wait until their change come. Because your change is coming. Be encouraged this morning, my brother. Be encouraged this morning, my sister, that God is with you and he will continue to be with you. The word of God says that he will never leave you nor forsake you. He is there with you and he will continue to be with you. God bless you. Believe on the words of God. Continue to take God at his word because he's not a man that he should lie. And the word of God says, if any of his word pass, then heaven and earth shall also pass. All to that reassurance that God is with you.